Namaste. Greetings from Nepal. So, most foreigners, when they visit this country, they don't hang around too long in Kathmandu. They usually get out pretty quickly, usually just after a couple of days. And they, they go to look at lush green paddy fields surrounded by the Himalaya. But I think, I think they miss out. They miss out on all this, this chaos <laughs> and this pollution <laughs> and the crowds. So I'm going to give you a taste of real Nepal. I'm going to take you into the, uh, into the back streets and uh, show you some of the sights, smell some of the smells, meet some of the locals. And uh, I'm in need of a trim. What, what could be more beautiful than a visit to a backstreet barber? So, first of all, I need to go, go and do a bit of shopping. Uh, I'm going to go, go and do a bit of shopping. And we're going to go and grab a few gifts from a few of the old souvenir shops. So, Let's go, let's do it. So there's one thing you ought to know as a visitor, as a foreigner, if you come to Nepal. You're often perceived to be much wealthier than the locals. And the fact, the fact that you can come here, you can travel here, but at the same time, it's quite difficult for a local Nepali to travel to your country. Probably kind of exacerbates the, the wealth divide. So when you go shopping, when you go shopping in the market, nothing's a fixed price here. And when you ask how much it is, the likelihood is that you'll always be given a higher price, a higher price than the locals. So it's very important, very important to bargain, to negotiate and, and bargain hard. Don't be shy. Locals have been doing it for centuries. So you won't be the first. Anyway. I don't think I'll be needing one of these. Thank you, they look all right. North Face, Heli Hansen. Wouldn't let me on the aeroplane with one of those. So a little tip, when you, when you go to buy something and they give you the first price, if you think it's out of your own price range, if it's a bit too high, you can just politely, politely decline, maybe give your head a little shake and walk away slowly. And geez. That makes you go faster, that. And the trick is, 99% of the time, they'll call you back. If you walk out the shop and you're walking down the street, they'll call you back and they'll give you a cheaper price. Anyway, this looks more like my kind of area. Got North Face shop over there. Looks like the original, not fakey. Hello, how are you doing? And can have a look if I can find a, a t-shirt. Got some uh, colourful clothes around here. <laughs> I 
they've got cyclo rickshaws for when you get tired of shopping and you need someone to carry all your bags but they're all asleep <laughs> oh, you, oh you're playing an instrument oh, okay <laughs> guy playing a little guitar got all kinds of shops down here shops selling like trekking gear and this pashmina pashmina wool which is very popular scarves oh those look interesting so I've seen something these look okay t-shirts Little Buddha, tie-dye, uh, and a little Buddha there, I wonder how much those are. That must do. Hello, Namaste. Uh, I like this this T-shirt here. The top one, yeah. yeah I in in, in a large large size. Oh. Yes, I have. Oh, I'll take a seat. Large size, which colour? Uh, I don't know. What colour? Grey. Blue. Like this one is okay. See, J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Is that large? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's Buddha. Mm. You see that? Okay. Uh, okay. And um, what's the price of these? This five hundred. Five hundred. No. I, I know, I know in the shop down there, uh, mm. they told me around 350. No. No? Uh, How many pieces you need? Uh, just one, just one today. No. But for 500, I think I'll have to come back on payday. <laughs> is, that, is that the cheapest? Cheapest? Yeah. Cheapest? Yeah. Everywhere, no possible at this price. <laughs> no, it is possible. There's lots of places. Before, before, uh, before COVID, yeah, how, how about four? Four hundred? Four hundred? No. Okay. okay. Just for the camera. It's a gift. It's a gift for somebody. There gift. you go. Yeah. And we get plastic wrapping also. That's made me happy. Call me superficial. Yeah. You make your friend happy. I'll make my friend happy, yeah. So, I think I've bagged a bargain. Let me just put it in my bag. Thank you. Thank you very much. Send some more customers. Send some hippies for some, some of those high dye tie dyes. So there you go. That's how to get a little bit of discount when you're out shopping in Nepal. Five hundred. I bet even four was a little bit steep. 
I'm pretty sure you can get those for about around um, 350 anyway on to the next market let's see what else we can find Hello. Where are you from, sir? Hi. You okay? So, I've got a new friend. When you were when you're walking around this area, around Tamil, you get these. What's your name? Akash. And are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you learning English? This festival. Do you, yeah, you want to take me to the festival at the Annapurna Temple? Yeah. So what they do, they come up to you, these guys. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> that got rid of him. I knew his trick. They come up to you, they say, oh, namaste. What's your name? I'm a student. I'm practicing English. Uh, and they'll tell you, oh, today there's a festival on. And... There's a, there's, there's a temple down here, Annapurna Temple, which is always busy whether there's a festival or not. And they'll take you down here. Hello. Hello. So they, these again, these are those pashmina, hand embroidered silk rugs. Yeah, they take you down here, they tell you the students, they want to learn English. And when they get down here, they'll say, oh, can I have a bit of cash? But the thing is, they just hang out here and just prey on tourists, which gets me. Anyway. Oh, it's getting pretty hot, pretty humid now. Even the dog's chilled out. So I think I need a little bit of refreshments. Uh, before I go on to make the next purchase. I think I'm gonna get a little, little sweet. Let's try this place, little calf. Little sweet shop, woman selling, what's that? Looks like pepper, peppercorns, cardamom. Yeah, a bit, a few herbs and spices. Oh, they got sweets in here. Nice, hello. <laughs> I want to try this one. I never used to have a sweet tooth before I came to Nepal, but that habit soon deserted me. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. I want to try this one. Oh, you want to try oh, what, what's the name? It's called Dut Malay. Dut Malay. Dut Malay? Yeah. Uh, you do a small one. So I have a small one. Okay, yeah. you want uh, how, how much is this one? So 140. Uh, do, do half. half. Okay. So two, two pieces. I'll give you all. Single pieces, okay? Just big one pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more, sir? Yeah. No, I'm okay, thanks. Okay, thank you, sir. I'll sit over here. So, it's busy. Wow. It's hot over there. He's got, he's got a wok, wok full of oil burning. Yeah. The guy's laughing at me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, here it is. She's quick. Thank you. So this, this looks like a very traditional sweet. Uh, looks like it's made from milk, maybe condensed milk. Probably follows a recipe for about, from about 2,000 years ago. It's probably spiced. I've got, I've got a few spices in here. Let me have a little taste. Let's make this short and sweet. Yeah, condensed milk. I can taste a bit of cardamom in there as well. Very cold, very nice. And it's what, about 70, 70 rupees. 
very refreshing. It is really refreshing this. And it's also good to know a few table table taboos. A few table manners when you come here to Nepal. Uh, it's not acceptable to share food. So don't be uh, trying to share your momos with your friend, with your Nepalese friend. Don't be trying to give them a bite of your butter naan or a mouthful of your beer, what your lips have touched on that beer bottle. It's not acceptable here in Nepal. Not like back in the West. Anyway, this is going down really well. Oh, very nice. Let's get out of here. Get this paid. Get this paid for. The guy making tea, making chai. Nice. Alright, thank you. So that was a nice little tasty treat. And let's see if this is a shortcut. This is a dead end. Can't get out. You can easily get lost in these streets. Looks like we're back to where we started with all the party dresses. Another thing which is quite useful to know about Nepal, if you do come here and you do want to come out and buy some gifts, although it's not very diverse when it comes to mineral wealth, it is blessed with quite a broad range of gemstones as you will see in this gemstone shop that we're about to go into. I've been eyeing these up for a couple of days and I'm going to go and have a look. Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it was uh, this colour. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you can choose you choose one of these and they're very inexpensive and they'll put a clasp on it because they've got no clasps on it at the moment uh, they've got all kind of different colours but I like these ones, these are quite nice how about this one? So these guys, they specialise in sapphires, emeralds, coral, rubies, 1,800. A uh, little bit of discount. About 1,500. 620. Okay, okay. 1,600. All right, all right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. And you put the clasp. Yeah, okay. So he's given us 200 discount, it's not bad. Yeah, okay, I'll take this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's going to put a little clasp on it for me and wrap it up, and I'll pay the guy. But they'll make a nice gift, make someone happy. Are these, are these from Nepal? Is this from Nepal? This is natural. From Nepal? Nepal? Nepali? Nepal? No, no. Wait, where, where is this from? Where is it from? Singapore. Singapore. I didn't know they mined 
gemstones in Singapore. Okay. And what, what's the name? What's the name of this one? Yeah, yeah, but what's the name? Name of no, the name? Oh, okay, okay. No name. Natural stone. This one is Tiger Stone. Tiger Stone. Tiger Stone. Yeah. Tiger Stone. So it should take a few minutes, a few minutes to put this clasp on. Bit of tricky technical work. What what do you call these stones? This is Rudrach. Rudrachs. Rudrachs. Are they expensive? No price. I price do it Okay. This is yeah. cheap price. Oh, cheap one. Yeah. This one expensive. Why, why, why is this expensive? Because double. Oh. and Parvati. Okay. So how much is these? So the, these are very significant in the Hindu culture. Five thousand six hundred. It's around fifty pounds, fifty dollars for one. For one. Wow. Uh, how much is this one? A hundred and forty-five. Oh, fourteen thousand. It's about $140 maybe. Yeah. But they, these are actually seed. Is it seed? Seed. But seed, seed, seed. It's coming from the tree. From the tree, yeah, yeah. So I think it's a seed. And it looks like she's almost finished. She almost finished my necklace. But it's not for me. It's a gift for someone. Is that okay? Nice. Is it? Is it big enough? Yeah. Sure. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. This is Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It looks small when uh, small. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I just paid for this. Mm -hmm. 2000. And he's put it in a little package for me. Yeah, thank you. And another bargain bag. <laughs> As I said earlier, I need a traditional trim from a backstreet barber. Looks like there's a few barber shops down here. Among the bike engineers and the fake, fake Nike, fake North Face shops. There's a hair salon here. Can't read the name though. It's uh, 
It's in Nepalese, Nepali. Is your hairdresser always busy? We have come back. Are you, are you waiting for a haircut? Are you, you are waiting? And you? No? Only, only one? Okay. Maybe five minutes. I'll come back in five minutes. So it's tea time. Chai Waller's just dropped by, giving everyone a cup of tea. Oh, he's making lemon lemon tea. Lemon tea with salt and pepper. So it's a bit bit peppery this one. It's good for your throat. No, I'm alright, thanks. But anyway, this barber looks like he knows what he's doing. And it's almost my turn. No, I've just had one over there. I've just had one. I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> so I think the barber tried to, to buy me a cup of tea for waiting, but I've just had one down the road. Watch out for falling debris from the building behind me. Very handsome. <laughs> Are you okay? All right, thank you. So it's my turn now. Hey. I got, got my fun stuck. <laughs> yeah. So, just a, just a little, yeah. And th thinning, thinning. Yeah. Not, not like those Tibetan monks. Coffee? <laughs> no, I'm okay, thanks. So he's just having a little break. Little, little pit stop. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and this uh, just 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 a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just okay. just a little, little. Okay. Yeah. So he's ju just checking his scissors. He's got thinning scissors. You have to check. You have to check if they got the thinning scissors. I had a haircut in Africa once and a lady just used a single razor blade to cut my hair. Had to wear a hat for a while afterwards, for a few weeks. Anyhow, it's not very expensive and if the worst comes to the worst I can always move to China and change my identity. Got a nice picture on my apron there, I don't know who that is. Is that Britney Spears, Twiggy? No idea. Who's, who's this? Who, who is this? Famous? Famous? Famous. Famous. I, don't, I don't know who she is. Are you, are you from India or Nepal? India. You're from India, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in... Consider in, India. In Hindi, how to say haircut, haircut. <laughs> haircut in Hindi. Hindi, Hindi. Hair cutting. Yeah. Hair cutting. Hindi, hair cutting. Huh? Hindi, hair cutting. Ha oh, same, same. Same oh. English, hair oh. cutting. Okay. Hair cutting. Okay. Same English. Okay. How how long in Nepal? Ajur. How many years? How long in Nepal? Nepal. One year, two years, three years. <laughs> long time. Long time. Oh, okay, okay. I'll let you get on with it. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's looking pretty good so far. So 
so mirrors are in demand here people keep sneaking in to look at themselves in the mirror to look how, how handsome they look <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> are you are you looking in the mirror looking? you're looking in the mirror okay, okay. <laughs> you're looking how handsome you look so uh, where are you from <laughs> yeah, i'm from england england from so, england uh, yeah. so how, how, long, how long time is to here at uh, six months. Six months. Yeah. Uh, do you like Kathmandu? Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah so a lot of history. I like especially. Um, uh, do you like sport? Sport. Yes. I like running. Yes. Uh, I like the uh, England especially football. Uh, David Beckham. Okay. Uh, my special. He, he's player. from Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm from Liverpool. You Liverpool? Yeah. Mo oh. Salah. Yeah. <laughs> I. I like especially Barcelona. Barcelona, uh, yeah, Spanish team. Yes, Lionel Messi. R R okay, Lionel Messi. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what's your name, sir? Gary. 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 My name is Akaslama. Akaslama. No, I'm Buddhist. Buddhist. Yes. Okay. So, uh, where is this here for you? Uh, just here in Basantapur. Basantapur. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, guest house. Yes, guest house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, nice to meet. You. Okay. okay. Have, Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thanks for the work. Okay. Recording. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be head for move. Head massage. Yeah. This is the best thing about having your hair cut yeah. in India and Nepal. India and Nepal. Head massage. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good. Good? Yes, good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, did you, did you shave it? Okay. You shave that bum fluff off. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Not bad. Nice and smart, nice new smart haircut. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Take 50. Alright, thank you. See you next time. <laughs> Not bad. What was that? Three, three hundred. It's about two dollars for a little haircut there. Might be the smallest barber that I've ever been in. That. A few hairs on the camera. But there you go. Little barber waiting for customers there. Got two seats in there. So if you want to book an appointment, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. So I think I have to go and wash my hair now. Wash all the little little bits off, off my forehead. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Getting out and about on the streets of Nepal. Meeting the people, meeting the local people and learning a little bit about the culture and we can see we can see like those little little cultural differences deep down inherently we're all the same we have the same desires a new t-shirt the same basic needs a haircut but at the end of the day it's only the the socio-cultural differences that make those that influence us anyway thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next little jaunt and the next little enclave in a far flung corner of the world hello sir <laughs> yeah I do like Nepalese very friendly very friendly people
Ha, 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 ha,